Okay, everyone, good morning. I don't know how today's going to turn out, but we're going to try our best to do something. I also didn't realize how busy this one spot is. But, my, this road's really busy. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to walk across that street, not get hit by this car that's coming a little quickly. Oh, or get hit by this car that's coming right now. Feel kind of nervous, and we're going to grab this uh, this chandelier slash fan looking thing. Oh, it's a fan. I don't know why I call it a chandelier. Okay, that's good. I go safely across the street first, and I walk up the street. But yes, welcome back, everyone. It's kind of trash picking day, but as you guys have heard probably a thousand times, the schedule is all messed up. I still have not perfected what I want to do. Whether it be go back out later today, like around 3 o'clock this afternoon, and do the other town, or turn today into a daily video. So, whatever happens, happens. I'll figure that out at probably about an hour. But, good morning everyone. You think that's gonna... Oh, that's gonna make me nauseous. Say. I think that thing's gonna rattle around, but I don't think so. Anyway, welcome back. Let's find some treasure. Well, look what's right in front of us, the garbage truck. So I'm going to try to get to a couple, okay, so they had this out, yes, these tires, the wheels. They're all like those dummy tires. They had a bunch of them out yesterday. They're still out there. I don't know if the garbage company is gonna take them. Those were out yesterday. I guess I'll take a left. That's a school up there, so I don't really want to wait in a school line or traffic or all that fun stuff. Avoid it all completely. Something over here on the left. What the heck? Little pieces hanging on the wire. Oh, what the heck are those? I think those are shelves. Shelves are something I don't need right now. Well, I do need shelves, pallet shelves, not those shelves. I was just in the warehouse yesterday, putting more boxes in there, and I was like, man, market has to open up soon, or we just need a day where it's going to be like 60 degrees for a week, or really just 60 degrees for like a Thursday, Saturday, or Sunday, and we'll be in good shape. But um yeah it's uh it's a lot of dead space above my head so what are you gonna do right pallet shelves all right so we're gonna go give it a go at least for the afternoon um in the other town i am going to go ahead and take out that one thing we found this morning and that's this as you see i'm now in a gray sweatshirt where i throw on the uh the chest mount this i'm taking out because I have to separate it. What I mean by that is take off the blade so I can get... What I mean by that is take off the blade so I can get clean uh, motor price for that. And we're off for the afternoon shift. The other town. The town that's changed over their schedule and kind of, I wouldn't say ruined my life, but changed my schedule up as well. All right. I played a guessing game on if my gloves are dry. Uh, not really. It might be dry, but maybe they're just cold. I actually put my gloves in the dryer that I was using earlier. This is a fan. Maybe it's now it's heater. Oh, that's a first for me. That's actually a heater. I thought it was a fan. Oh, that's gonna roll around and be nice. So I put my gloves in the uh, the dryer, not these, a different pair that I was using earlier. Not in the video, but just earlier in the day, because it's now four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and they were so nice to put on, and literally as I got outside, I could feel the gloves getting colder by the second like it was like even by the half a second it was amazing that it would happen that quick but 
it, it was a really interesting feeling that I gotta say, someone out there's gotta experience. It's almost like, have you ever put your socks in the dryer and put them on and they're nice and warm? Well, this would be like almost like instantly getting cold after you put them on. I don't know, random things. Blue garbage bag. I remember back in the day when we had to put our recyclables in garbage bags. Then they started yelling at people for doing that. That looks like a Christmas tree that cut all the limbs off. It's throwing away a Christmas tree, he cut off all the limbs. All right. Don't think I've seen that ever. Truck. My life would be a lot easier if I would have brought a hand truck. Alright, and then scratch up this whole concrete. Maybe I can just lift this thing up. Oh, I hear a change rolling around. A penny just fell out. Yep, something else just fell out. Might be a stone. Yeah, I think I saw a stone falling. Rich. How the heck? I have no idea. Where's the motor on this thing? That is definitely the back. For those wondering, yes, I guess college is back from winter vacation. That was probably, what, a month ago, three weeks ago? They're back. I had one kid just, like, literally pass me as I just carried that. I was waiting for her to say something funny, but guy must not be a jokester. Okay. Well, sort of interesting to me. I guess I can turn right on red here. Yep. They got the, uh, well, see how it's a green light, but they have an arrow that goes that way. So they are not going anywhere, which means I can turn right. Um sort of interesting i never come down this way on a weekday at this time so it is very very lively i did not think it was this lively the only time i ever drive through this is either really early in the morning or on the weekends i never thought about that and um it's just a completely different world has anyone ever been out like if you if anyone's ever been out no um that was really stupid um, if anyone's ever been out like into certain towns or cities on a weekend, it is completely different than on a weekday. And that's kind of how it is like now here. So it is pretty busy. I mean, they got trucks loading and unloading, cars are coming this way. Just not what it's like on the weekend. Starbucks and Jersey Mike's doing well. Chase, not so much. Stopped to get an iced coffee. What the heck is this ice? Okay, somebody put a garbage bag out there, so I guess they couldn't lift it into that container. So I have this package that has to go out. Uh, I just sold this on eBay. It actually weighs 20 pounds. So although I did go to the post office, not the hardware store, which this is also a post office. I went to the regular post office this morning. Um, I would not have shipped that out, and this is really weird with me, is I shipped out a lot of glassware this morning, and since that package weighs so much, I would hate for them to throw that box on top of the glassware boxes. Although, yes, I know someone else could do the same exact thing, or someone else could ship something really heavy. For some reason, in my mind, I feel like that's going to crush it, um, which is really stupid, because it literally, like, the person, next person coming in could literally be shipping, like, a cast iron stove, you know? or a microwave. I just throw it right on top of my box of that glassware in it. But for some reason in my mind, I feel like I never wanna ship something super heavy with glassware or anything that's fragile. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, this is going in here. The other reason why I'm here is because birthday month, 
is essentially almost over as of recording this video and uh, I have a five dollar gift card so pretty much save five dollars the only thing is it ends at the end of the month so I have to spend it I really hope this person doesn't pull okay all right Well, I really hope I don't hit your ball, though. All right, what to do with my $5 gift card? It's a toss-up between paper towels. Holy smokes. Wait a sec, what? That's definitely not the price of that. Yes, because that's not spray or profession 32. What the heck's the price of it? Paper towel something mega. That says meg on it, so that might be meg. That's. Oh, we're playing the guessing game again. Gotta love it. So here's what we're at the issue with. That's a two pack for $9. Paper towels SAS. This is Paper Towels SAS Mega. Jeez. See, I don't know if that's it or if this is it. And so we're gonna look at the rolls. That says big rolls. Those say double rolls. The only thing that says Mega is these over here. But that's not paper towels, that's toilet paper. So, toss up between this and uh, strapping tape for shipping. It's the only thing I really need right now. But how exciting to spend my $5 birthday gift card on paper towels or packing tape. Well, no, not me. I don't know where the heck I put that gift card. Uh, I saw it this morning, and that's how I made... I don't, I don't know what happened to it. Unless I just never put it in my pocket or never put it in my wallet. I don't know what happened, but uh, I figured out which one was which. But I just walked out because after like 10 minutes of trying to figure out what it was, I looked at the barcodes and there was numbers on the barcodes that uh, correlated to the numbers on the barcode that was on the price sheet. Um, so if you're ever wondering how you find that out, just look at the barcode numbers on the little price and then compare it to the barcode that's on the product. But I must have left the gift card at home. I don't know what happened. I literally have no clue what happened to it. It's not in any of my pockets. It's not in my wallet. So I Great. just left. So this thing was uh, jingling some money out. I was going to say I'm going to remove the back panel, but the back panel is gone. Um, I want to flip it over, but if I flip it over, it might flip back over. Let's see. Oh, there's, there's, that might have been what I was hearing. So we got a dime. 1994. Uh, I don't see anything else hiding in there. Maybe the motor's, I don't know. I thought the motor was like right here. Maybe it's because I don't really find a lot of, I don't know. I usually find the washers, not the dryers. No. Well, here I jingle. Well, I think that might be it for the change. I did see a rock fall out. Anyway, that's what we got here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing now, moving forward. Uh, it seems like the last time I... So I went out last week, I didn't find anything. The week before that, I combined like two or three or four episode or four days of trash picking to make one video. And then today, all we found was three items throughout the entire day. So that's between the morning and the afternoon. I did go out yesterday. I didn't find one thing, but I didn't go out twice. I just went out in the morning. Um, that would have been part of this morning as well because sometimes people put out stuff a day before since it is essentially, I guess, the weekend. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I don't know if this will be the end to trash picking these towns because it seems like it's a lot of time invested to make these videos. And all I'm doing is just driving around, which is ideally fun, but it doesn't make for a quality trash picking episode. Like it just turns into like a daily video, but then it turns into like 
six, seven, eight hours of just like nothing. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing moving forward. I'm not quitting YouTube just because things are going differently, but something's probably going to be a little bit different, whether it be knocking out these two towns or waiting until summer. But this is what we found. I found that fan that's over here, ceiling fan right there. Um, but that's going to wrap it up here for today's treasure hunt. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know there wasn't much to be found, but it was still fun to get out and find things. Thanks for tagging along for another adventure. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's day. See what happens then. If you guys enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.